Um, really, some people found mine or whatever. Right. So it, however they did that, that's up to them. But for us, because we did that triangle and we measured X and measured H, and we saw that tangent of theta was H over X, and we saw that mu is equal to tangent theta, we knew that right away. Okay. We also knew, remember, that mu is equal to the hanging mass over the mass of the block. Okay, you should have had those force diagrams already done. I talked about it in class, whatever. So, right, I could... Yes. Okay. Where did all that go? Who right. goes MH over M here? You tell me. Whatever, anybody. No, I want I want to calculate just like that. So what should I put in there? Okay, equals. Oops. There. On it, it shows because it shows me the colors, so I can see exactly what it is I'm doing, right? And then so now, if I know that's right, I'm good. And then now I want to, I'm going to choose three down. Yeah, please no thing, but when I get right of an arrow into a little thin hairline at cross. When I go down, boom. Uh, I'm just asking. do if I want to find an app. It won't do any math unless you do equal sign. If you don't do equal sign, it's just like typing a word. So I do Excel, open office, uh, or this. They use pretty much the same notation. So, um, what do you think I would type in for average? Hmm, I wonder if that, it's like, and you'll see, whoop, just select what I want, right? So it's going to A3 to A, and then, and get rid of, that shows me that this, you can have these equations. Yeah, these are all new static, because nothing was supposed to be moving. Everything's supposed to be stationary. That's how you know it's mu s. So that's how I get my also do, which is standard. Then go to like calculate. Oh wait, hang on, it's still recording from the last lab. But let's let's just kind of make this one for this lab. So let's my mu on. Um, let's say M H over mass of the block. Yes. Okay. M H. How did you measure that? Oh, hanging mass. <laughs> so what was the smallest iteration that you could do? Yeah, it was one gram, right? So this is plus or minus one gram. And then mass of the, of the block, what did you use to measure that? The two decimal points. Okay, if it's two decimal points, then you're plus or minus 0 0.01 grams. Right? If you use the gray one, it's plus or minus one gram. Okay? Now, since both of these are just divided and nothing squared, all I have to do is say the uncertainty is going to be equal to the square root of the uncertainty of the hanging mass squared plus the uncertainty of the block squared. There's no coefficients. There's no square. We don't have to worry about any of that stuff. So it's squared? Yep. It's kind of like Pythagorean. We're, we're finding what's called a geometric mean, right? Okay, so then, uh, when we do this, the hanging mass is going to be, um, it's one gram over what was your average value for your hanging mass. Like in my example, it was like around 16 grams, right? And so one out of 16 becomes whatever, some small percentage. And then the uncertainty for the um, balance, whether the block is going to be 0 0.01 over how much was that? I think. Okay, I think mine was around. I don't know. I'm guessing, but I think it was around 60 grams. Whatever. This is based on what your block was, and then you just take those percentages, stick them in there. So turn these into percents. And then stick them in there, and you'll get your overall uncertainty. That's it.
Oh, okay. So that I would have over here, and then this is my standard deviation. Okay. Now, if you look at my averages, they're both really, really, really close. Like they're within one one thousand. You know what I mean? That's that's stupid, but that's just because I'm making up the numbers. But what you would do, mu two, right? That's going to give you your average. And then just find the percent that those two are different from that. Okay, so what you do then to for, for find your, um, what did I call it? I think, isn't it, I think it's um, relative deviation. Yeah, relative deviation is going to be O minus M over M times 100%. And it's going to be the same for both because the average is right in between the two. So then this is going to be, um, O is going to be your observation. So we can just pick one. Like let's say we do um, 0.288 minus um, 0.2875 over 0.2875. Oops, times 100%. Do you see how that's going to give that to me? So then... Multiply by 100%? Yeah, because Yeah, exactly. So then, um, so here, this comes out to be whatever, 0. 0.0005 divided by that. 0. 0.0005 divided by 0. 0.2. 875. Oh, yeah. So I get 0.17. So my this is 0.173%. So that means like I'm a god of the lab laboratory, right? Because I can do totally different procedures and nail it within less than two tenths of a percent away from each other. What's the mu? That's mu theta. Mu theta, and this um, was mu m from the masses. 